very, oh, very impressive. And that oh my goodness! From, back from the dead, Cryoxis is still your Xbox ESFL champion! Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Pryoxis and I'm back, man, with another video. And you guys see here, Alexander Uzik is who I'm using. My record is terrible. We got 21 knockouts, though. We be catching bodies. We be catching bodies. 40, you know what I'm saying? Hey, well, that's actually, what, a 50% knockout rating? But we're not here to really talk about me. By the way, guys, this is a voiceover. You know what I'm saying? This is gameplay I recorded of using Alexander Uzik. Nice gameplay, man. Going against the Tyson Fury. But, man, he looked good. He looked good against Anthony Joshua, man. That was a real good fight. You know what I'm saying I'm not really too too deep into boxing, but you know what I'm saying. But I want to really get more deep into it, especially with you know games like ESBC coming out and just overall just knowledge with boxing, man. And I watched that fight, and I was it was a from the start to the finish, it was amazing. The fight first started off. You know what I'm saying Alexander Uzik was like he was active you know what i'm saying the the movement the head movement to the movement with the feet he was just active he was moving he was moving man and it was beautiful to sight to see but you know i'm saying anthony joshua was picking his shots throwing the jab out there as the commentator was saying he was trying to jab at him instead of just throwing it out there yeah he was doing that but you know what i'm saying as the fight kind of progressed you noticed how alexander uzik was slowing down you know, and I, I was like one of the first people when I was saying in my stream to say, I was like, yeah, he, he isn't, you can tell the feet wasn't moving crazy. The, the head, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't crazy with the head moving like he was in the beginning. And I believe all that, is, it started to change after round three. Like going into round four, you know, momentum was shifting a little bit. But Uzik wasn't out of there. And Uzik was like, it was, every time Anthony Joshua would, would land on him, He's right back at him. Okay, nope. You get yours. I'm finna get mine. Right, right after you. you know what I'm saying it was a nice display of boxing. And if you notice in this fight, if you pay attention to the fight, I was using the. Uh, it was three strikes that stood out to me in that fight. It was the lead hook by Uzik, the uh, cross. You know what I'm saying the, the left cross to the head, and then it was also the cross to the body. Those three strikes was kind of like his uh, the strikes that he was landing the most, and um, he was he was landing that that whew, that right cross crazy in that fight man and it was it was honestly just a real good fight i was excited from the start to the finish anthony joshua started like you know making his comeback look like okay it's anthony joshua time but Uz Uzik just found his damn second win and it was like it was crazy but i want to know question in the chat or in the comment section what did you score the fight what was your score on the fight i me personally i went eight four for Uzik, I know a lot of people thought differently, but like, it's, I don't know, it was that, um, I believe it was either the fifth or the sixth round. Some people had, you know, either way, but me personally, you know, I had Uzik. I think it went to the point where it got, because mm, I know Uzik won one through three, and then, um, AJ won. I believe it was what, four? And then five, and then six. So I think it got up to three, three, and then again, Uzi just won that next round. He won seven, and then eight, I believe. Um, AJ won, and then nine and ten. Uzi just, especially round ten. Oh my goodness, can we talk about it? Like Uzi in round ten was just um, whew, you could tell he wanted it. You know, you could really tell Uzi wanted it off of that round ten, man, and. And he almost he almost got the finish. And I want to know what do you guys think is at next? I do know they have a rematch clause, but you know what I'm saying? Is he going to um, capitalize and like take the rematch clause, or he's just going to take time off and continue training? But who's it came up from cruiserweight? Cruiserweight. He came up from there to the big boys, and now the question is, you know what I'm saying? If Tyson Fury can get past Wilder, you know what I'm saying? Now it looks like it's going to be Uzik versus. Um, Tyson Fury. Who do you guys have in that matchup? That's a, like, like the commentator said. I kind of agree with with those two fighters. You know, Tyson Fury's a bigger version of Uzi. Both of those guys are. You know, they don't have the knockout power, but they they're like real good with accuracy, real good with the head movement. You know, what I'm saying the footwork is good as well. But the height advantage, man, the height advantage in that fight is going to be insane. The reach advantage as well, but. I'm excited to see it, guys, and I'm excited to continue watching boxing. If you guys 
have some personal fights you want to put me on. You want to be like, yo, Pry, this is a fight you need to watch, my boy. Please let me know if there are certain fights I need to watch to un really understand it, man. I'm really looking to get more into boxing. Um, you can call me a boxing casual. You can be like, you have no boxing knowledge. I understand that. I'm here to learn. You know what I mean? Don't come at my neck. I'm here to learn, y'all, okay? But all in all, that was a real exciting fight. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Anthony Joshua comes back and tries to rematch because, again, an Andy Riaz fight. He adjusted well in the second fight, and, you know, he did get the win. But, whew, that boy, Uzik, looked, looked clean. And a lot of people doubted him and, you know, was like, nah, they counted him out. But you got to show respect to him, especially someone that was a, uh, was an Olympic gold medalist. On top of that, little champion was, was a champion in cruiserweight. Look at that. Cracked! And, of course, a cruiserweight champion. And also, like, the man's undefeated, bro. Like, give him his respect. You guys can see, man, I put this pressure on this Mike Tyson, though. Hey, I put this pressure on this Mike Tyson. He was aggressive, and I was really just trying to put on a show if you guys been paying attention to him, man. I was nice, clean boxing. Knocked him down a few times, I believe, already. But look at that. Boom! I was, a, I was, I was like this. Waited. Boom. Threw a cross. I dropped him down again. Look at that. Yes, sir, skis. And it was, it was only going to get worse for my boy here. He got up on a two count, though. What a demon. I believe I don't know if I've knocked down a few times because I've really been paying attention to it because I've been talking to the camera, talking to you guys. But I really just been doing this guy greasy. I ain't gonna lie. Like I was really doing this guy greasy. And it's not too much more else to talk about that Uzik fight. But again, I mean if you guys have questions, like I said again, have a fight in mind that you want me to see personally, hey, link me, hit me up, let me know. Put in the comment section, man. Also, you can hit me up on Twitter at Pryoxis, Instagram at Pryoxis as well. Those things are in the description. But I'm saying back to this fight. This guy has actually been putting some mean damage on me. And I've been going to his body. I've been going to his body. You know, a little bit too much. Because Mike Tyson has some, I'm pretty sure, level 20 uppercuts. But I'm getting a little cocky. Look at that body hook. Look at that. Mink, mink, mink. <laughs> we dropping right there. That's my UFC. Uh, my UFC combination I like to use in UFC 4 is a cross followed by a lead up a cut, then a cross again. Man, that thing is money. But we drop him down, man. Does he get back up to the feet? Eight. He is good. He gets back up, man. I was actually surprised. I thought that was it, but he was good. Here we go, man. With the last round. I knew I knew basically it's curtains for my boy. You know what I'm saying? I was curtains for him, but I was going to continue fighting my fight. Try not to get into a crazy brawl. I think I brought enough in this fight. My stamina isn't looking that great. My health isn't looking that great. Look at that. Cross, pull back. I also was trying to lose a little bit of head movement because, you know what I'm saying, in real life, he's real bouncy. He was real bouncy. But the problem is in this game, you, the footwork mechanics, you know, also paired with the head movement, you can't really play like that. Hopefully we can see a change like that in ESBC. I believe we will. From what we've been told and what we've seen, Ooh. this man is looking to take my head off with this Tyson. But I knew, I knew he was gassing. I knew he was gassing. Even though my cardio wasn't the best, my uh, health isn't the best. I knew he was gassing, and it wasn't. It was only a matter of time. Look at that power hook, landed clean, cross dropped him, and then hit him with a couple shots as he was going down. Man, boom! Hey. Now, I feel like this is probably it. You know, that what was this? I believe the third knockdown, and he got up on like a six count. He could get up on this count, but it was going to be real tough. You see here, I was like, oh, okay, he getting up, he good. And then, wah. <laughs> and then he falls over, and that was it, man. That was it, and that was all. GG to the Tyson Fury player. All respects, all love. Um, No, he could have got me out of there. Tyson Fury is a problem if you don't, haven't ever played Final Champion Day in your life. You know what I'm saying? Tyson Fury is a problem. By the way, y'all, I didn't make this Uzik calf. I know a lot of people like to criticize calves, but I didn't make them. And you guys see the scorecards. They gave him the first round, as expected. And then look at this round right here. I run the second, 10-7, then going to the third. Look at this. I landed 65% of my total strikes, man. So, real good. I threw 86 jabs and landed 63, which is good. Which is crazy. Look at look at this, man. Y'all can't, look at, y'all can't knock me, man. Look at this. This was clean. Obviously, this was a you know quick match against this guy, but still, this was still some clean boxing, especially versus Mike Tyson. So I'll give myself a pat on the back for this, with all due respect. But 
with that being said i'm not gonna hold y'all for too much longer man i need you boys to stay up and stay blessed and keep moving forward and if you have not yet do me the hugest favor and hit that like button man five seconds out your life highly appreciate it y'all boys stay up